welcome back to your favourite educational podcast. Oh. Ah. Mmm. That's it, I'm not going. In today's episode, we'll be continuing our discussion on menswear with a particular focus on proportions. Now, whilst doing my research on this video, I found that you can't be good at multiple things. You can't be an expert in multiple areas unless you're myself. When I was looking at particularly how to dress a man in relation to rules and mathematics, the maths isn't great when written by someone educated in the arts. And the reason why I'm saying this is I found that the rule of thirds is a massive influence in menswear. I realized from doing my research, um, you have no idea what you're talking about. It's all very confusing. I have looked at multiple sources, tried to compile what exactly you are trying to achieve, and will put them all in this video to try and help you out. Furthermore, I will then go on to explain different ways, according to psychology, how you may want to dress yourself. It is the day and age where we are struggling so hard to find an appropriate outfit that we are resorting to mathematics to dress ourselves. But I kind of love it, to be honest. First thing I want to talk about is the golden ratio and rule of thirds. The grasp rule of thirds has on the fashion bros is astonishing. And it's made even more astonishing by the fact that I don't believe you know what you're talking about. You seem to have just heard some TikToker say rule of thirds and you just blindly follow. Please cite your sources. On the internet, you seem to use golden ratio and rule of thirds interchangeably. Mathematically, this is incorrect. Those of you well-educated will have heard of the Fibonacci sequence. This is the basis behind the golden ratio. The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers. You're adding your two numbers together to make the next number in the sequence and so forth. The golden ratio is found in this sequence. Two quantities are in the golden ratio if their ratio is the same as the ratio of their sum to the larger of the two quantities. When we're creating a ratio, every single one has this ratio with increasing accuracy. So the higher you get of these numbers, the more accurate the number is to this golden number. And men seem to be interchanging this with the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds, I mean, we all know what a third is. You get a rectangle and you divide it into three boxes and each one of equal length is a third of it. The rule of thirds seems to be dress the upper third on top and the lower two thirds on the bottom and the partition should be on that upper third. I think that you have just assumed that a third is the same as this golden ratio, but this is why you need to do your research. They're not the same thing. This is the Fibonacci spiral. It's the same as the Fibonacci sequence, but illustrated in a diagram where you have this spiral. And this spiral represents this this golden ratio. You must have seen this picture. Leonardo da Vinci, the Vitruvian man. This is based on proportions according to the golden ratio. Just to, I guess, prove my point that um, you don't know what you're talking about, many a fashion source claim that they are explaining the golden ratio. GQ, fashion is downright mathematical. The secret of menswear is the golden ratio, also known as the rule of thirds. That is incorrect. And again, another source, the golden ratio, foundation for style. This model's coat comes down the length of his body to cover 1.6 or thereabout of his body starting from his neck. Did you catch what's incorrect there? So look at this image for a second. The model's coat comes down to the length of his body to cover 1.6 or thereabout of his body, starting from his neck. Even the pearls of his coat make a second golden ratio within the coat itself. Do you see it? Ignore his question. You don't need to think about that one. Can you see where he's incorrect? I'll give you a second for the mathematically impaired. This coat isn't covering 1.6 of his body. This coat is covering 0.6 of his body. A coat covering 1.6 of a body would look something like this. You're wrong, basically. The rule of thirds looks more like what we are currently following in men's fashion at the moment. The trends are little crop top baggy jeans. And actually, I don't hate baggy jeans. I don't think I made that quite clear enough in my last video. I don't hate baggy jeans. What I hate is the shape of the baggy jeans, but we'll get onto that later. So. Do watch on if you want some discourse on that. Anyway, the rule of thirds seems to dress a man in crop top baggy jeans in this kind of style, and it's awful. However, if we're just simply looking at where the waistline sits, and we want it to sit where this line is here on this Fibonacci spiral, the outfits will look more like this. And again, if I superimpose both images on these outfits, you can see the better outfits, in my opinion. In my opinion, the better outfits are all dressed according to the Fibonacci spiral. Whereas the bad outfits, in my opinion, are all dressed in the rule of thirds. There is my evidence. My conclusion is dress according to the Fibonacci sequence, the original golden ratio, rather than the fashion bro golden ratio, which is the rule of thirds. 
Next on my list to talk about is this partition here we have in the crop top baggy jean wearing fashion bros. There are two main things I believe are aesthetically wrong with the fashion bro copy and paste outfit. It's the little gap between the crop top and the jeans and it's the shape of the jeans. So first allow me to explain why I think that little gap is a bit bizarre. I relate this to the idea of liminal space. You may have heard the word liminal space in internet culture to mean these type of scary mysterious pictures of hallways and corridors and empty airports and things. It's a transition area or a transitional space. It's supposedly made to make you feel uneasy or discomfort in some way. If we are literally looking at the liminal space on a fashion bro the transitional space is that tiny little gap between the crop top ending and the trousers beginning this does make me feel uneasy and i do not like it i think we need to remove this in every definition liminal or the various branches of liminal are defined as a threshold and this gap is also the threshold so i would say that this is the liminal space in a fashion bro outfit i think we need to remove it because it's making me uneasy and how do we remove this like I said, this is why tucking in your shirts is better than cropping them. When you tuck them in, you still have a flowing outfit. You don't have this gap in between your top layer and your bottom layer. So tuck that in. Alternatively, just remove the gap by not tucking it in. Remove the gap by having your shirt longer than the top of your pants. Have a go. I heard a lot in the comment section that this rule of thirds fashion bro outfit uniform whatever you want to call it supposedly is made to make you look taller again scientifically this is incorrect in the fashion bro outfit you are bisecting this outfit the crop top and trouser are creating two very different segments of this outfit this is what is actually making you look shorter a line with no division looks longer than a line with division when shown to participants and guppies actually My leg! this tall line that is not bisected is perceived as longer than this horizontal line that is bisected. They are the same length, however the perception is or the illusion is this line is taller than the bottom line. There are multiple explanations for this and actually let's go through all of them. The first one being the visual field. Your visual field is actually an ellipse, it's not a complete circle because you've got two eyes and due to the shape of this visual field, when we have two lines of equal length, the horizontal line of equal length to its vertical line, the horizontal line will be further from the edges of the visual field than the vertical line and as such we perceive the vertical line to be longer than the horizontal line. This may be why, regardless of the bisection, the horizontal line appears shorter. If we are to apply this to fashion, don't wear horizontal stripes, wear vertical stripes if you want to look taller, etc. because the way vertical and horizontal lines of the same length will fit in the visual field. However, this explanation is not reinforced by other species. The bisection theory is supported across species. The humble guppy also agrees. The horizontal line appears shorter than the vertical line because it's bisected, not because it's vertical or horizontal. How can we apply this one to fashion? This is a lot broader. You need to stop bisecting your outfits. One way you can do this is dress in outfits that have similar colours. The monochrome outfit, some may say. So if you're wearing an all black outfit, you're not bisecting the outfit in any way. So it will appear as though you look taller, as opposed to maybe a white t-shirt and black trousers. This is related to the fashion bro uniform. Don't intentionally split your outfit with this gap in the middle. The gap in the middle is bisecting this line of your clothing, so get rid of it. If we're not looking at colours at all and we're just looking at shape, the only bisection in the uniforms of the fashion bro is this gap that they have. If you want to look taller, remove the gap. Wear a longer shirt so that it covers the gap. Okay. If we continue on from wanting to look taller as a man, these lines are the same length. However, one is perceived as shorter than the other. You'll find that the line where the fins are pointing is shorter and the line where the fins are pointing away from each other is longer. We can apply this to fashion and the fashion bros have and they're doing it wrong. Going back to the start of the video where I said that there are two things wrong with the fashion bro uniform, one being the space in between the top and the trouser, the other one is the shape of your trousers. It's entirely bizarre to look at and now I will tell you why. The shape of these trousers actually makes you look shorter. The fashion bro shape is the short line, you want to dress like the longer line if you want to look taller or if you want your legs to look taller. Actually following on from that. If you're just focusing on the legs, you want to have a high-waisted trouser.
you are contrasting the length of the legs with your torso. What you're essentially doing is manipulating the environment or the contextual information someone has to judge how long your legs are. You perceive things differently in context. You perceive this line as being longer than this line due to its place and its environment. For example, this cow in its environment, as you're looking at it now, it appears as though it's a small cow on top of a post, whereas these cows look like they're normal sized cows, whereas this is a manipulated environment. One last time. This is the same thing we're doing when we have high waisted trousers. The contrast is higher and your legs appear longer. So high waisted, not this wrapped round kneecap saggy jean. So I think that's everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed that. I really hope you learned something. It's been an absolute pleasure. Tell me what you want in the next video and create little create little votes or little little streams in the comments of voting with one another or something. I don't know. Help me out here. Absolute pleasure, as it always is. Bye.